Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph uh, the system of inequalities. So to go ahead and do that, we're going to want to make sure we can graph um, both these inequalities. And to do that, I usually like to uh, graph them as you know, equations. And I'll just go through that. So uh, remember, when graphing an equation or even inequality, you know, we'll get to the shading here in a second. But if we're going to think of graphing y as equal to 3x minus 5, we need to make sure we understand what are the important points. The first point is this is going to be our y-intercept, which is a coordinate point 0, comma, negative 5. Where here is our slope, which is not a coordinate point, but is what is a ratio in the change in the y values over the change in the x values between any two points. And we always want to write our slope as a fraction. So I can rewrite any whole number over 1. And a lot of times, you know, sometimes you'll see rise over run. But you know, it's just the change in the y values over the change in the x values. Now, we'll get to y is less than or equal to 4 in just a second here. But let's go and graph this first. So here I have the y-axis, and I have my x-axis. Now, remember, the y-intercept is your coordinate point, And that's going to be y on your y-axis, because it's where the graph crosses the y-intercept. So I'm going to go down 5 units. So here's 0, 0. So I'll go down 5 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I'm going to follow the slope. Now, the slope says the change in any two uh, y values and x values, the change in the y values and x values between any two points is 3 and 1, where 3 is the change in the y values, x is the change in the x values. So that means since it's positive, I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and then to the right 1. Now, that's going to be my connection. Now, when graphing this, now I want to actually go back. So I use the equation to kind of give me my two points. But when graphing this, what I want to be doing is looking at, all right, is this going to be a solid or a dashed line? Is this boundary line going to be a part of my solution or not a part of my solution? And since this is greater than, not greater than or equal to, it's not going to be a part of my solution. So that means any point that lies on this boundary line is not going to be, um, is not going to make the inequality true. So I'm going to represent this as a dashed line. All right. Now let's get into y is less than or equal to 4, which I can think of y is equal to 4. Now, we could use a table values, and a lot of time that's what I've done. But when looking at this, I'll get to the shading in just a second. But when looking at this, y is equal to 4, we know that y is equal to 4 is this coordinate 1, 2, 3, 4 is right here. But what it's saying, you know, y is always going to be equal to 4. We're looking for a, you know, a line that we can write when y is equal to 4. So it doesn't matter if x is 5, x is negative 2. It doesn't matter. y is always going to equal 4. And since that is less than or equal to, this equal to tells us we're going to have a solid line. Now let's get into the shading, the fun part. And when looking in the shading, basically what we're going to do is we want to choose a test point. And the best test point that I like to use, when, as long as my two line, any boundary lines do not go through the line, is 0, 0. And all I really am going to do is plug in 0 and 0 in for x and y. Because um, you can see here, this origin is the coordinate points um, 0, 0, where x equals 0 and y equals 0. So I can plug in these points in for x and i and determine if my inequality is true. If my test point is true, that means I'm going to be shading towards the test point. If it's false, I'm going to shade on the other side of the test point away from it. So let's test the first inequality here. I have 0 um, is greater than 3 times 0 minus 5. 0 is greater than negative 5. And that is obviously true. So I tested this, and that means that this point is true. So I'm going to put some arrows here meaning I'm going to be shading above the line. Then I go with this one. Now, I don't have an x, but I can put a 0 in for the y. And 0 is less than or equal to 4. That is also true. So therefore, since the test point is true for this line, I'm going to shade towards where it's true. And then you can see in this two region, I have where both of my inequalities. Now, obviously, you could continue shading all of these. But you see that here is the region where both of my inequalities are true, which we'll call our feasible region. So I'll just go ahead and shade that. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you saw or graph a system of linear inequalities. Thanks.